back to artists on artists on artists on artists. This week, you know actors for being famous actors, but there comes a time when you get so famous, you think, how can I make money a different way? This week, we're talking to actors who started businesses. Businesses not including their own acting careers, but businesses that include products and lifestyle suggestions and other things that you can buy in stores, online, or somewhere on the internet. So get your investment deals ready. It's time to listen in. Action! Hi everyone, so good to see you. Howdy folks, howdy folks, hey. how are we doing? How are we doing guys? This is so great, it's so, it's not usual that you get to talk to um, actors who are also entrepreneurs in the way that we are. Oh, I've, I've seen you guys on set, you know, but I haven't seen you guys in this capacity. It's really fun we get this opportunity, I thank God that we get to be here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> it was so good 100%. seeing some of you at the People's Choice Awards. Oh, oh that wasn't that fun? Was, it was really so fun. fun. We, so fun. Uh, were you guys in the, the Frito after party? No, I was at the Cheeto after party. Oh. Well, what was that like? Uh, orange. <laughs> yeah. So was Fritos. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go around. Uh, I mean, I... I, I uh, <laughs> I know who you guys are, so uh, yeah, totally. why don't you guys uh, introduce yourselves uh, to the people who don't know, who, who I don't think anybody's not going to know you guys. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm Rick Crest. I, you might know me as an actor, as uh, Principal McNuggins on Goblin Middle. Uh, it's a school <laughs> about, uh, it's a show about uh, a bunch of goblins in middle school, and I play their wacky, ne'er-do-well principal who uh, tries to help them deal with all their problems. And I'm also the creator, designer, and CEO of Crestfallen Whiskey. Crestfallen Whiskey and Spirits is a company that I started. I'm really proud of. Um, and it's delicious. I remember you. when it's you so sent those sample boxes around, they were, it was really good. It was Thank really you. like smoky. It I was just, at your launch party. Yeah. And oh, I had were. the best whiskey sour of my life. Yeah. We rented out, uh, we rented out a rodeo for it. <laughs> really fun. We actually, we couldn't get bowls, but we got motorcycles and we had people just drive motorcycles around the rodeo ring. That was <laughs> really fun. It, and that's kind of what Crestfallen's all about. You know, we're, we're, a, we're a man's drink. But man is so fluid nowadays. I learn a lot from my uh, coworkers on uh, Goblin Middle. You know, man is the idea of a man has shifted, but not in the mouth. And that's what Chris <laughs> Fawn Whiskey is about. <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, that's, awesome. that's absolutely that's really so awesome. true. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, great to see you guys. It's crazy. All those motorcycle lists were drinking whiskey. It felt so unsafe. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't know they'd gotten into it. And I was surprised, and I certainly noticed when they crashed into the gates. <laughs> okay, I'll go next. I am Emily Myers. Um, you guys probably know me. I um, did a bit of child acting. I was um, a big whatever Disney Channel um, little baby pop star, whatever. I've been in the limelight. I mean, I don't need to tell you guys, but I've been in the limelight for like 25 years. I'm 25 years old. And um, so I was thinking, you know, it's like I've conquered uh, the world of singing. I've conquered the world of acting. What is the logical next step for me? And so I decided to create something that is very near and dear to my heart. And that is Emma's and that is Emma's Nuts and Bolts Company. Mm. Um, so I make screws, washers, nails, um, basically <laughs> like... The, the cogs, um, basically the things that keep our world turning. Do you make grommets? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's crazy that you called it Emma's when your name is Emily. I love that about you. I think like it's, well, it's that is so funny because that's actually, that's um, a little nod to the nickname my dad gave me, which he would always call me Emma. How that's quirky. not a nickname, that's just another name. It just sounds like a completely different name. <laughs> no, 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 but okay, so it's Emily, right? So you take the wow. first part of Emily, which is M, and he sort of, he, like, you know, you say it really fast, M, M, Emma. And then, so that's how my dad invented the name Emma. He oh, invented, he invented it. it. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's great for you, Emily. And I don't want to step on your toes. <laughs> you, were, you come from a very wealthy family, mm. so I don't, I don't want to mess with you guys. You no, have a newer I company, mean, right? Your company's newer? 
Um, you yeah, we we launched in um, 2021, so it was uh, it was kind of early 2021, so we couldn't have like a huge launch party, but mm. we were able to do um, a little something, 300, 400 people. That's yeah, incredible. I was there. I, I use I use uh, your nuts and bolts all the time. Uh, just working on various projects and whatnot, you know, because I'm a yeah. handy man, I'm a man's man, I'm a crafty guy. And yeah, I remember you yeah. were making such good use of our drywall station. Yeah. Um, we had guests, um, it was sort of like a build your own martini or like a build your own bar, like that was our take on that, but yeah. except instead of bring, was, building your own drink, you were building your own bar it was, behind, yeah, exactly. like with a hammer. You were building your own bar, you had- It wasn't taking hours. It was like- yeah. it Must have been a huge was, party, like- yeah. um, The late, party, I say party, it was wise. kind of more of a weekend. It, um, was, a, it was a retreat. It like, just the sheer space of it all. It was yeah. a in a warehouse. I mean, yeah, I walked away. It was like a gingerbread ha a building a kit, but it was real bar sets. And yeah. And I brought, you know, there was a huge bucket of nuts, bolts, washers, grommets, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Grabbed whatever you wanted, and I built a really fun little bar that I actually keep in my uh, my wife's uh, den now. I saw that the cast of Cobra Kai made a bar at the party. Yeah, they made their own bar. It was really fucked up. Um, they yeah, it was did not up. have the ability to <laughs> do it. Those kids definitely did not have wood shots. <laughs> they didn't wood take wood shop, and so you could. It really separated, you know, the people who um, were going to be my frequent customers versus the people who, and no hate to them, no. just like aren't going to be using nuts and bolts in their daily life. But well, I want to make nuts and bolts Gen Z. I want to introduce like a new generation to nuts and bolts. And I think you have because it's made out of something so specific, not metal. I mean, it's what did you say that it's made out of? Um, the same silicon gel that people use for earrings on TikTok. Right. It's gel nuts and gel bolts. <laughs> it's incredible. And I can't imagine those lasting long. I mean, usually a metal is what you use because it has such a long shelf life. You well, know? well it it's designed to be ephemeral. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a perfect way to incorporate your Disney audience. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's like I'm, I am trying to move away from that. I'm trying to ma move away from those years, show that I am more than just Disney. I but hear that. Um, I it, hear you on it, that. I do know that that is where my fan base is and that's where they're coming from, which is why I have all these amazing colors. And our, our button nuts and bolts, I'm really proud of this. They're gender neutral. Yeah. So um, <laughs> they're not specifically marketed. Thank you so much. <laughs> So yeah. anyone Good of any gender you, can use our nuts and our bolts. Awesome. That's Good great. for you, Emily. That's yeah. fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I'll go next. Um, uh, my name is... Uh... <laughs> 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 is this the hardest part? <laughs> uh, uh, I'll go next. Um, uh, my name is Joe Keith. Uh, you guys might know me from my run on the legendary uh, uh, cast of SNL in the 90s. And then after that, I moved into the Party Dude series. Uh, we <laughs> released some uh, great movies in the Party Dude series, uh, which was a blast and took up so much of my time. And I love those years. And luckily, uh, the Party series, uh, the guys got together, a couple of us, and we just went kind of right into the crypto space and right into the online space. So that's what we do. <laughs> we have a bunch of online uh, uh, companies and crypto stuff. Uh, you guys might have heard of the Dirty Baboons NFTs. Mm. The Dirty Baboons I NFTs. I haven't. Yeah. You haven't heard of these? No, no, no what these is are that? crazy, guys. Um, so basically, it's a it's a fantastic company, and it totally makes sense. Basically, there's art online, and, and artists, like, when I did Party Dude, I was being paid for Party Dude, but I wasn't being paid for the lines I said. I mean, technically I was, but now we live in a GIF world, and a drawing world, and a meme world. What if I was going to get paid every time somebody posted my meme of me saying, Party Dude, you know, because that's my iconic line. You know, so what if there was a way to charge people for that? Well, that's where Dirty Baboon comes in. It's a bunch of drawings of Dirty Baboon, and they've told me I can get paid for that line somehow. Really? Mm. Yeah, it's mm. amazing. It's you know, amazing. I was talking to this film director who was wondering if he could get paid for gifts the other day, and mm. uh, I think he directs dog movies. He said, who I Who said that? I don't know. Some guy said that. Interesting. And, and it's no, interesting. So you can get paid for gifts now? Yeah, you can get paid. You can, own, you can legally own a gift. In a way. That's good as for writers too. Does the writer of that GIF get anything? If they own the GIF. 
it, 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 so are there any rules as to who can own a gift or uh, claim man. ownership so of the I gift? So I wish I knew. Um, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew. I think, no. I think, okay. what was the question? Say it one more time. <laughs> okay, so um, what is to stop me from claiming like a minion's gift or okay, whatever? there's nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, so there's right. no. But, but, the th but, but, well, obviously oh, no. that's copyrighted, but the idea of the image of the of a minion is not. <laughs> okay. So, if I own, <laughs> if I own the idea of the image of a minion, then I own it. And how's your business going? It's, I have over two billion dollars. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Two billion, it is taken off. Whoa! I is have that made... from your acting career as well? No, or that's no, all that the NFTs? all uh, dir Dirty Baboon uh, NFTs plus a couple other crypto Ooh. businesses I am in. Now, do you own any of the NFTs that are like gifts of your famous SNL character, Poop Chef? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I own every single gift that Poop Chef has said. Because everybody loves Loves texting a poop chef. I heard that was one yeah. of the most iconic characters of thank the '90s. Oh, I would watch that so with much. my dad all the time. I sent a, a gif of a poop chef to my nanny last night. What was night. the line? What was the line? Um, I told her the lasagna you made for the kids was poop chef. Yeah, that's what everybody <laughs> says. You usually it's like, oh, what are we having for dinner tonight? Or uh, either pre or post meal. A lot of post meal. How'd you guys like dinner tonight? And then you text. Poop chef. And had, it pops I, up. Yeah. I had a, a girlfriend in the '90s who uh, had a tramp stamp of uh, poop chef. <laughs> wow. Good for her. Yeah. That's yeah. great. She, she had was a awesome. Tramp stamp of poop me chef. as the character poop chef. <laughs> no, it just I said. Gotta meet her. <laughs> I gotta oh no, meet just the words poop, poop chef. chef. Oh. <laughs> because in, <laughs> because <laughs> below. Yeah. Sorry. Above. Above she was her really pussy. funny. No, that's really no, funny. Is it, oh, above, She's above really her funny. Butt. Above her yeah, butt. Yeah, that's it's funny. It's, but not on the front. <laughs> that tramp stamp's not on the front. No, a tramp stamp's on the back. It said a, a poop chef above her butt. Wow, that's A tramp stamp in the front, I believe they call a frunk. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> like a, a drunk in the frunk. A drunk in the front. Well, that's great. Yeah, but speaking legally, I do own the idea of every gif of me saying any poop chef line, uh, which is pretty amazing. Uh, mm. That's crazy. So, um, not this one though. Well, so I just bought this one. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay. I I honestly didn't know well, I was able that, to. I just wanted that? to check and see if I could do that. That's but, crazy. How much did yeah, it go for? Yeah, I guess for? I own it. That's. Um. Well, I bought it for six hundred thousand dollars. From so who? <laughs> <laughs> from who? Um. Well, I just googled cryptocurrency. That's. And you did that right now. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just you went under that? the table. Because well, the nice thing is, so I, fascinating. What is, did you? What? Uh, what? What currency did you use to buy it? Um. Uh. I. It, it's this thing called sock dollars. Um. I. I think my boyfriend got me into it. Sock dollars. Sock dollars. Yeah. It's That's like a the one where every dollar looks like a sock. Yeah. Right? It's That's like it's crazy. just like Dogecoin and mm -hmm. Bitcoin and stuff. Yeah. Like it never runs out. Well, yeah. Well, that the nice thing is uh, a lot of the NFTs about that. My company ha minted a lot of those and mined a lot of those mm -hmm. and laminated a lot of those and a couple other words I don't think I'm saying right. But I think I got paid. When you did that? No. I are you sure? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. But it's fine. I'm a two billionaire. So Great. yeah. Thank Great. you. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah Eliza Bells. Um I'm the Sarah. Icon herself, oh, Sarah sorry. Eliza, Eliza Bells. Bells of <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm an actor from the a uh, Fire Lion Ring trilogy um, <sighs> that has been going on. I'm just very blessed to be a part of the ensemble. Um, but recently, I have a partnership um, with Snacks. Um, recently, I have a partnership with um, Fisher Price, and we have Manifest Snacks. It's my line of snacks. Um, I love this line, yeah, because this is the line of where you just, you manifest a snack, right? You well, don't buy a snack, you buy the manifestation of a snack. Is that what see, happened? that is what we're, re it, we're working on the science to it because there is a line of snacks and a line of manifestations that you can buy. Okay, okay um, so, so I can go to the store and get a physical bag of snacks. Yes, yes. Um, it's only in um, Whole Foods right now. You can't get it at a Ralph's or a Vaughn's. Okay, what are the snacks? So they're little crackers. 
Mm. Okay. Is yes. everything crackers? Yes, it's all crackers. And it's called Manifest Snacks. And after the snack, at the back, what you're referring to is a little a little certificate where at the end of the snack, you can manifest the next snack. <laughs> end of the snack. So you're, the thing with snack culture is it's not a meal. And you're never done with the snack. You want more snack when it's over. Mm, that's so, so true when that's I so snack. True. That's so, so true. When I snack. the idea is, and that's why it hit me, I was snacking on grapes. <laughs> and I wished there were more. And I was like, how fun would it be to take manifestation, which I believe in so wholeheartedly, and put that into snack culture. So it's so a you'll, coupon? So you'll, it's a coupon <laughs> for your fate. Okay. And it's a coupon for your heart. So if I, okay. so okay, so if I get like a manifestation token at the end of my snack, and I'm thinking about the snack, so do I go back to the store to get another one? So no, but you have that certificate. Okay, so I have a, a certificate, certificate for an idea of a snack. This yes. kind of sounds like an NFT. Honestly, it's just as confusing. No, I but think. you get a full <laughs> bag of crackers. First. So you'll, you'll First. eat the crackers, and then at the end you'll go, oh, God, I wish I had more. And then on the back you get to the little circle, pull out a pen from home or something, and then you get to go into detail, specific manifestation detail, about what snack you want next. Okay. Oh, it's like a, it's like a build-your-own-snapple bottle cap. I, I right? say it more like <laughs> it's a journal for snacks. Oh, it's a, okay, so okay. I get a little circle. It, is there, where do I put the little circle? You is get there, to keep it and put it wherever you want. Oh my God, I've been that's so fun. I've seen people putting it on their fridge. Some people put it on their mood board. Some people put it in their wallet. Because then I tell you, I don't know when and I don't know how, but in a few minutes, years or days, that snack that you wrote down at the back of the package is going to find you. Okay. And when you buy more, yeah, that. Uh, when <laughs> and so, so how is Fisher Price helping? That's what I was gonna ask. I was so curious how Fisher Price, the children's toy company, <laughs> plays into this. How did you get them on board for this? A little lucrative opportunity <laughs> like for them. Nothing to do with toys. <laughs> oh yeah, because they don't even make like baby food. No, I thought they did. No, they just I, make well, they toys. Don't, they're <laughs> just yeah, very, very young child toys. <laughs> But that's great that they're that in they're in taking a chance Price. on you. Yeah, I here's the thing. I'm an actor, and and we'll get into this because I I couldn't get a meeting anywhere um, for manifest snacks, and um, I didn't think it was the product. I thought mm. it was me. Mm. You know what I mean? And um, the only in I had was a general with Fisher Price. Mm. Um, I sat down and I pitched them the idea and they said, do you see a future of snacks in this or do you see a future of toys in this? And then I went off and I pitched other things. Um, we talked about a manifestation whiteboard for children. Um, if that's going into the works, I don't know. But Fisher Price is so excited about the usability of manifest snacks on the playground. That's crazy. I've never heard of a children's toy company having somewhat of an actor's general meeting. <laughs> oh, that's my actor brain. So that's a fun question for everybody because sometimes my actor brain gets in. Mm. I think all meetings are generals, but yeah. I guess they're not, right? Well, that's interesting. I mean, we all had to find investors for our products, right? We all had to do that. Yeah. I met with the McClatchy family, uh, which owns a very specific region of West Virginia. Uh, they're pretty well known over there. They're a, very, a family with ties, connections. Oh. And I got in with them. West Virginia, Kentucky, that whole area, it's known for whiskey. So Crestfallen Whiskey found the best and they're involved and they're fronting me a lot of money yeah that that area is the what were their names mcclatchy yeah that area yeah it's it's definitely definitely known for a lot of things i, I would say a lot of things but a lot you know moonshine whiskey a good alcohol jack daniels came from tennessee which is close to west virginia oh that's amazing yeah, yeah. That's isn't that great. amazing oh i mean fisher price comes from uh beach shovels sure a lot of stuff from china too <laughs> Tons, tons yeah. of stuff yeah. from China. But I had to meet with them and I had to say, listen, I might be this dinky little principal from a goblin television show, but I'm actually a man's man. I'm actually a rough guy. Wow. I'm actually interesting. Yeah. I'm actually rugged. Well, can I actually talk about this? Because I feel like once your whiskey company started coming out, you rebranded in such a huge way. Yeah, you know? I started wearing jeans, not just as pants, but as jackets. And that went a lot 
a long way for me. I it's also, such a good idea, too. Yeah. Because your your principal character is pretty rinky-dinky. He's pretty rinky-dinky. He gets into a lot of stuff. And I'm really grateful to be on Goblin Middle for a ninth season coming up. It's been a blast. But there's a lot of stuff about me that you might not know. I'm a, a different kind of difficult guy. Mm -hmm. I, I get mad sometimes. I scream. I work on cars. So... I'm I'm an interesting dude, and I think whiskey is something that I love, and it it burns my throat in a good way. Now, when you changed your, your brand, basically, sure. you started wearing pants as jackets, yeah. taking and you... photos in the desert, sure, holding up a snake. Yeah, yeah. Th those oh, things. Oh, that photo of you holding up a snake and then kissing it. Yeah, yeah. iconic. Yeah, oh, talk yeah. about GIF. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a, the first headshot that TMZ ever printed. <laughs> <laughs> They loved it so yeah. much. They said, we, we know this isn't a paparazzi photo. We just love it. <laughs> That's absolutely <laughs> How would you say your whiskey is different than other whiskeys? I would say it's smokier. Yeah? It's really, really smoky. Yeah, I've I can taste that. Like a, it ta honestly tastes like a house fire. Yeah. It That's does. That's what we want it That's to feel. It, yeah. That's we, what it tastes like. We want you to feel like you need to run out of wherever you are. Because now that you think about <laughs> now that I think about it, when I sampled it, I was hit with this like, whoa, wow, that's a lot of smoke. And yeah. then the next day, I had difficulty breathing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's triple distilled, and then we put it in barrels, and we light those barrels on fire. <laughs> and whatever <laughs> leaks out of the barrels goes into a bigger barrel. And then that barrel is run through a car. <laughs> Can I ask something? Are those barrels wood or are they plastic? Because I do get the sense of a house fire, meaning it's not just wood in there. Yeah, there's like a lot there's in there. There's insulation. There's. <laughs> oh yeah, it's everything in there. Little children's toys. You know, we want you to feel like we want you to feel like there's there's an urgency that in memories you're bringing things back. So yeah, we have a secret batch of flavors and 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 uh, uh, additives that we put in. Additives in a good way. We don't talk enough about additives being good. Additive. <laughs> yeah, it's literally oh in the name. God. We are adding. To the product, we're adding. We're not you're adding. adding. You're adding. Yeah, you guys probably you have are. additives to your product oh, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh, one thousand percent. I've been. Yeah. I think that's how NFTs work. You can add things. I think yeah. additives work. Fisher so. Price basically demanded it. Now, can I ask you what your character on Goblin? Yeah. Um, the sh it looked like. Your when your brand changed as a human, it looked like the character also got some change. Did you get to ask wardrobe if your character could be muscle like more gruffy and and musky? Did like because it seemed like it it like coincided with the release of your brand. Let's just say, and, and I think you all agree, and, and probably have had to do this too on the actor side. You have to take initiative. Yeah. You do. And you you do. have to step forward. And some of the things they said, no, you're gonna have to wear this. You know this scaly unitard, because I'm part snake, and I said, I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. Wow. And and uh, and they said, well, we're not gonna put you in the scene, and I said, well, then go find another fucking principal. And they Good couldn't. Good for you. You all, said that. Yeah, yeah. That's I did. That's insane. Good and so I started shifting it, I started changing it, and, and luckily, the writers and the, the actors and the, the directors, they said, you know what? We're gonna embrace this. So my character, I'm really excited to announce in my ninth season, my character uh, gets a motorcycle and dies. <laughs> So I'm really was excited. That, was that your request to be killed off the show? It was or? not. It was not. Okay. It was not. But but a Crestfallen Whiskey is starting, and I'm really excited. And, it, it, and it's going to be my primary source of income. And I'm really fucking stoked about it. That's because incredible. Because it's going That's awesome. great. That's incredible. Do yeah. you guys like uh, being entrepreneurs more than acting? Or well, do you think, What about you, like, Emily? Well, I mean, I love acting but I also love I'm so passionate about these nuts and these bolts and it like Are is you? something yeah it is so deep in my heart I mean okay I this is a story I like to tell whenever I'm uh talking about the business and it honestly like it it chokes me up but I'm so um, excited <laughs> so when I was a little girl um I had this tradition with my dad where um at the end of the day, after school, I would come home and I lived in a house. And that house was held together with nuts, bolts, nails, screws, all these quirky little objects that kept the house together and standing. And I just think back about those times where I lived in a house and I like, it fills me. I, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I just feel like story. the tears are, are welling okay up. Here? Yeah. Yeah. I um, had a feeling that would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, 
I don't know. I think I'm okay, okay but thank Great. you so it's much. It's covered in grease. So <laughs> yeah. Probably a good idea you don't take it. Yeah, you're like, you're slipping off the chair. Yeah, it seems I am. Like motorcycle. Luckily, my, my skin is so rough. <laughs> it it, it has trip friction. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, it's so near and dear to my heart that like I I could, if if this happened tomorrow, if, you know, the movie calls stopped coming in, I could you know, do this because it also warms my heart because mine, my, um, Emma's nuts and bolts is tied to a charity as well. I don't know if you oh guys are, no if your businesses benefit charities, Mine's not. No. but mine go towards building the houses on extreme makeover home edition. Oh, so straight to a television production. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it cuts, it cuts down their budget. That's so yeah. nice. So it's, <laughs> it's this wonderful what an incredible charity. incredible way as an entertainer to give back yeah. to both communities. <laughs> and I am an executive producer on that show now. You okay. should be. That's wonderful. That's a great Great You're idea giving for them you. money, <laughs> and I am so proud that uh, this show is able to build these homes for these deserving families that last. We're proud to say one to six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> that is wonderful. Now, talking about investors, your was your family a big investor in this in this uh, company for you? Yeah, I mean, I got lots of support. Uh, like I have a, made a lot of money on my own um, through acting and I am a businesswoman. And so it's like I a lot of that I was able to fund myself. Um, some of that did come from my dad, who um, is high up in um, a really great company, just like a really great company that does so much good for so many people. Um, it's in the technology space. Uh, so I was really grateful for that. What company is that? It's a really great company. Um, they do so much work overseas and for our country. And um, uh oh, what, what company is that? I what kind of stuff do they do overseas, Emily? <laughs> <laughs> I got some contributing donations from Raytheon Technology. There it is. There it is. Oh yeah. god! Interesting. Yeah. So your dad runs Raytheon. My dad is very high up at Raytheon. Yes. Awesome. That's and that is giving, essentially, to Extreme Makeover Home Edition. <laughs> that is, it's wonderful to hear that Raytheon gives back. You know, <laughs> makes a lot more sense. You're working on, you're literally building the, the, the fundamental tiny things that put together the missiles and weapons. You're baking nuts and bolts. I shouldn't be surprised yeah. who your dad is. You yeah. Know what I mean? Well, he was able to give me lots of insider info yeah. on I think this all was, that. This was the shoe we were waiting to drop because it was like, how does this young girl with that voice and that talent mm -hmm. connect mm -hmm. it to nuts and bolts? Well, I don't think it really changes anything because I told the story about the house and how much it <laughs> and how much it affected me sure. and how much it made me feel full of joy. I will and say the beads now make sense because I was wondering if that was a sustainable plastic, but obviously. Obviously, with the military research that Raytheon does, they must know it's much more sustainable and better for missiles than, uh, mm. you know, regular metal. Yeah. Well, that is a conversation for my technology officers to have. Oh, you have um, technology officers. officers. Oh, officers. <laughs> Deputized. <laughs> like, like a cop? Well, um, they do hold, I mean, they're just like any other company where you have, you know, your CFO, your CEO, your IT department, your HR department, and then you have your technology and international operations department. Right. Um, and they have certain privileges and certain uh, people that they can talk to, certain powers they have that most uh, other departments, do you guys not have this at your company? No, I got a guy in West Virginia and he makes my whiskey. Yeah, most and then of, I have a marketing team. Uh, yeah, most of my team is uh, basically this one 12 year old in India built the whole system, and then a team of his friends kind of run it with him. And then we've got an American team too. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. It's great. It's awesome. Who's on your team? I have bags of crackers, so I don't need a cops or officers or technology company. But who's on your Who team? Who makes the crackers? Yeah. Um, a couple of women. <laughs> Just, a couple? Uh, sorry, a couple, a couple of women. women. And then a computer makes our manifestation sticker. Where so are the women? <laughs> Feels like you know so little about their company, <laughs> how it works. Well, uh, it's different than, uh, my, I wasn't a part of mine from the ground up. Mine is a partnership with Fisher Price. So there's so many ways, so many things that they take over. Um, but bags of crackers are made by women. So. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. So are they making the bags or are they making the crackers? Both. A couple of women bags, a couple of women crackers. So where, where, what part of the world are they making it? They, I believe, are based in San Diego. Oh, mm. wow. That's wonderful. You what believe? Kinda... <laughs> I believe. And what is, are the crackers nutritious? Are they healthy? Are they good for you? Yes. Okay. So we have the chocolate crackers and we have the cinnamon crackers and then we have the orange crackers. The orange crackers are made from orange slices, believe it or not. Mm. The crackers themselves are made from slices <laughs> How of does orange? that work? How well, does that work? And that's I not, mean, that sounds like potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> Five years ago, if you saw what the cauliflower industry is doing to pizza, you'd say, how does that work? That's potpourri. But look at where we are now with fruit. The same thing vegetables can do, so can fruit. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> yeah, I've always said that. You're right. The well, same thing vegetables can do, so can fruit. <laughs> I'm actually I've really excited. Said that. <laughs> I think you're so right, and I'm so glad that like a, another woman is stepping forward. Do you find that it's hard to, because I run into that sometimes, you know, as a woman, it's harder to start a business. It's harder mm. to walk into a room and go like, this is me. I'm, they'll go, oh, who's the boss here? Who runs yes. this company? And they'll be looking around, and then I have to step forward and go, it's actually me. It's me. It is me. And I think as a female actor, it feels like that because yeah. it's not only that I'm just a woman, but also I'm on the cover of these magazines and very little clothing. And somehow that in a boardroom of these very, very big, mean Fisher Price executives, for some reason, they I heard look they're down huge. on me. They are huge men. Big and very tall. The toys must be so small for them. Maybe that's why the toys are always so large. <laughs> Fisher Price. Yeah, it's not it's so not... that the toddlers can see them better. Yeah. It's because the executives can't hold them in their hands. <laughs> I, I dated a girl in the in the two thousands who who uh, worked for Fisher Price. She said when she went in front of the board, it was like a room full of bouncers. It's it's <laughs> that is exactly. If you could give me her phone number and her name, I'd love to take her to coffee because yeah. it's exactly the experience I'm going through. I'll give right you a landline. Mm. Yeah. Give, yeah. Yeah, um, it's just like being in front of a gentleman's club. Mm. Um, but I mean, especially you, you're so young. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm 32. Well, and you're in the, you're, nothing, you're, in the, you're in the construction industry too. I am in the construction industry. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you again? I'm 25. Wow. And My God, you're young. A lot of times it is hard, you know, because I'll, like I encounter I don't know. It's like men don't always see me. Like I'll be setting up in front of a construction site, like doing my promotional TikToks for it. And then a lot of times men will walk in the background of them so carrying lumbar and no support. Give it like hmm. absolutely just w taking up my space. I, that's the question I had. It seemed like at the beginning you were going to try to sell your pieces to, you know, people on TikTok and stuff like that, the social media. But yeah. it sounds like you're selling it to giant construction <laughs> firms to build full buildings. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't want to just go for, I mean, I love the DIYers. I love the DIY space. And that's a space that I'm very much invested in. But I also want to be taken seriously by big companies. And I'm so proud to say that the next tallest building in New York City oh, no. will be built using entirely Emma's nuts and bolts. <laughs> wow. And I'm not bigger just than talking the Empire State Building. Bigger than the Empire State Building. I am not just talking the nuts and bolts that are used to secure the other pieces of wood and stuff. I'm talking the wood will be made of melted down nuts and bolts. Wow. So the entire thing will be fully Emma's nuts and bolts. And they so announced it. The, so they announced they're making the tallest building in, the, in New York City. We're going to yeah. make another one. <laughs> <laughs> they. And then they said, and get this, we're going to yeah, make it entirely. Said, yeah, they it's said a, that. All made of silica gel, too. <laughs> Insane. I cannot wait to visit. A city well, that is so fearful of buildings falling at this absolutely. point. And let me tell you, it is so earthquake safe. You will, a, an earthquake will not rattle that's, this building. That's wonderful news, but New York is not affected yeah, by earthquakes. That's a problem for New York. <laughs> not no, no, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good to know, I guess. Wow, I mean... Well, I, I guess even if it becomes a problem, then I guess it won't happen. But so you're transitioning into is that. It, is it going to become a problem? Well, I mean, according to um, some people my dad knows, something might. No, actually, don't worry about it. What? I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, uh, yeah, Does okay. your dad know that New York's about to start having earthquakes? <laughs> 
know. I mean, I. Why would your father know that? I what I would say to that is I'm not even in that department. That's okay. why I have you know a geological uh, right. department who's covering <laughs> that, and I work with so many talented people. Okay. Yeah. I have well, a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Are you acting anymore? Uh, no. Well, I do a little bit of acting on the side just for fun. I'll do some guest stars and stuff. And I do have another comedy movie coming out. We managed to get the whole gang back on the Party Dude series. And no we're doing way. one more. I heard that's the first entirely crypto-funded movie. It is, 100%. So how that movie worked, it was so fun to do. You could sign up and buy a digital poster. The idea of a digital poster. And when you signed up, you could write a line of dialogue for the movie. <laughs> So, our movie was written by over 2,000 different uh, people who bought into our NFT space. You know, this actually makes a lot of sense because the trailer is just a bunch of people going like, epic memes alert. I think <laughs> yeah. they're, they're waving me down. I think we have a copy of the trailer. Oh, oh yeah. play it, oh, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Play it. This summer. Party dude. You just lost the game. You just lost the game. From yeah. the creators of... Everyone, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. We live in a society. <laughs> Comes the team that brought you party boys. POV, you are every CEO ever. Chuggy, chuggy, chuggy. Frog meme, frog meme, frog meme. My Gucci on. I'm an Italian. I don't like Italians. You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? I really don't like Italians. Coming to a theater near you. Chuggy. Yeah, so we were forced to say whatever they said. Wow. Um, I, yeah, it was tough. I, it that's was, hard. It was great. I think it's going to be so funny in moments. And it's, it's got so much promise. And it's to be historical clear, for the cinema. Yeah, for sure. But to be clear, the movie is longer than that. The movie is, it, it, was, it, it ended up being three and a half hours. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so yeah, and 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 to say again, whatever they wrote, we had to say. Okay. We didn't put any parameters. So obviously, in that clip, I do not dislike Italians. My uncle is Italian. I love Italians, but we were forced to say that and many other things in the movie. You gotta be okay, careful. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah, you didn't with have that. like a publicist at all watching no, over no, and no, helping. No. There's with no this? publicist in the crypto space. Well, That's fan, really a thing. fan engagement on uh, your product is so different than fan engagement as actors. I don't know uh, if you guys yeah. deal with. I mean, you, you have to remind yourself. We we uh, had a raffle where whoever uh, had a special. A uh, number bottle of Crestfallen whiskey got to go with me to a Doobie Brothers concert in Indiana. How'd and that go? Was it just an old timey raffle where they all lined up? No, it was a number on the bottle. Oh, we, we numbered okay, the it, bottles got it, got it, got it. and then they oh, had like to go Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, they had to register their bottle. Yeah. 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 Well, how was it? How'd it go? Oh, they smelled like shit. The people that came with me, they were smelled so bad. <laughs> and it was so hard to sit next to them the whole time. They smelled like they'd been on, in the sun all day. And it made me sick to my stomach. And that's not like your fans for you. I show. just don't, ha I don't like to hang out with them. I'm a solitary dude. I like to hang out in the desert wearing a jean jacket, and I like to ride my motorcycle, and I like to ride it fast. Well, we got like that, you would we got smell that. like you've been in the sun all day. No, I smell like I've been working. <laughs> Don't you have that mansion in Malibu, in that, like, that super modern house? It's like, really new. Yeah, but it's I like got that. that really, it's like no. all windows. I saw the Architectural Digest tour from like three years ago. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, it was yes. beautiful, no. right on the, you have your own private beach. And you were wearing a, that no. beautiful turtleneck. No, mm -hmm. no, that, that turtleneck, that turtleneck was put on me by a criminal. And they ran away. <laughs> Who was and the criminal? It was, we're still looking for him today. And if you guys have any <laughs> whereabouts of the turtleneck bandit, And this was know. in Malibu. Like I didn't want it on. Hours away from photo. the desert. It's pretty hard to like just get into, but yeah. It was hard to put a turtleneck on well, but, but also like also that good. house, it is newish because I was, it, I, I started renovating it. But I bought that, you know, a long time ago. I bought it when Malibu wasn't all it is now. Like I bought it in old Malibu. You know what I mean? Like it isn't what new What year Malibu. was that? 2000. 15. <laughs> I bought it in old, it, like it changed a lot since then. Like yeah. I bought it in like, old, you know, I'm like one of those old Topanga Canyon kind of guys, like salt of the earth, rusty, like Listen, we old get you. Malibu. We get you. You guys get me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I feel like you just, you keep introducing yourself and telling me your brand. I get it. You can understand. 
You're a dirty, dirty man. Just, I'm a dirty dude. Just a quick I'm a question. hard working dude. I don't smell. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just a side note: Does anybody know what chuggy means? I was so confused when we were filming that movie, but I'm no. so excited for it. So, um, no. is that a, uh, is that a thick round uh, uh, dick? I thought that was a thick round dick as well. So I can answer that. Um, this was a phrase from probably a year ago, and it just means lame. Okay. Oh, okay. And what's a thick round dick? That is a chode. <laughs> okay, okay, now that we have that, that settled. I should have known that. Come on. That's con that's SNL. <laughs> oh yeah. So I I actually am really excited for this part. They told me um that at, at kind of near the end, we actually all brought a sample of our products mm. that we can all try out. Mm. Um, and I'm really excited for this. Uh, you guys, I've brought a couple of computers so you guys can look up and see what a dirty baboon looks like. That's it on the monitor right there? That's it right there. Wow. So there's wow. Uh, thousands and millions of these, and you can make your own if you have the minting software. Um, you can make whatever you want it. Uh, Looks like a Dr. Seuss cartoon. Yeah, isn't that fun? Isn't that that that's fun? So that one right there, that one costs seven hundred thousand okay. dollars. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. Ed. That's awesome. Um, can I ask you why I would want that? Yes. Well, look that's, at it. I'm just so curious. Well, that actually could because it's worth seven hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Who's your audience for this? Oh, so many people from kids to young adults. A and, kid did buy that? Oh yeah. The thing is, a lot of parents don't understand the internet so they don't block their children from buying things. So a child will come and pick that up. I've met four or five year olds that have bought it at $2 and sold it for $600,000. These kids are making money on the internet. Um, so that's just one example of my NFTs. We've also got another NFT. This is our demon racing. Uh, basically Whoa. what you can do is you can buy a demon and it'll race against other demons. Basically virtual horse racing in a way. But with demons. But with demons. Isn't that funny? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Why is it funny? Do you I, like this? I've been told. I've been told it's funny. <laughs> I've been told the. I've been told people love it, and I've been told it's very funny. And same with the dirty baboons. I've been told they're so good and funny. You've been told. I've been told, and, and I've been told that <clears throat> this is going to work. Um, so yeah, and it's great. It's awesome. And then I see. Emily, we have your bol bolts right here. These are the sparkle mm -hmm. ones. Yeah, I so um, I have uh, in the little bowl in front of you, I have a um, I have an, an Emma's bolt. Um, it's uh, as you can see, it's sparkly silicone. And then I also have three different sizes of nails. Now, each of those are corresponding to uh, three of the horoscope signs. So we have Sagittarius, Gemini, and Aries. And what are they in inches? Um, that, we don't know that yet. Okay. That is terrible for builders. <laughs> that seems so inconvenient. Well, we're hoping that the language will become so ubiquitous that they'll, and it'll actually make it faster for contractors because instead of ha being like, oh, Henry, can you handle hand me um, like a two by four? You could say, Henry, can you hand me a Libra rising? And everyone will know what that means. Like so you don't have to gonna carry around all these numbers, do all this math in your head. So is Libra at that point a piece of wood and rising is two by is four. The length? <laughs> oh yeah. So is it is it so yeah. is Libra rising? Is it is it rising? Um, is it a sun moon rising? Is that the like small, medium, large? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like right. a grande, so the, tall. Oh, you're and skipping venti? the inches and uh, you're just going into clothes size. <laughs> And then Libra, yeah, so and then the hoping, sign itself is like the width. That's so true. So we're hoping. So true. That's the hope. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. That's so true. We're hoping that eventually, planet wide, there will only be three sizes. For everything. Okay. So oh, you no. won't have to <laughs> go, oh, uh, this window is 18 inches long. Oh, no, this one is two inches long. This one's uh, 45 feet. There will just be three sizes. Everything is either two inches, five inches, or 25 inches. Just way too, these nails are way too long. <laughs> <laughs> these 25 inch nails. These, I gotta be honest with you, 
20 by inch nails. How do you hit that in? I don't understand how you hit that into wood. It's over two feet. It goes right through it. So that's because two we want- Two foot wood. What are you nailing into two foot wood? Let me tell you something about branding. Okay, because a lot, of, most nails, what happens to them? You hammer them into a piece of wood and then you can't see them. They're never seen again. <laughs> Nobody knows what that nail looks like or who made it. But mine is so visible from all sides. <laughs> That they will know that you are looking at an Emma's nail. And just to clarify, they are building the largest, <laughs> tallest building in New York out of these products. Only using the... Okay, great. Um, oh, oh, my God. I thought this glass was my water, but oh. I think it's... Oh, my God. My throat is on fire. I surprised you guys with some crestfallen whiskey. What? Yeah. Let me take a sip. Wait. Take oh a sip. God. Remember. Let's have a tasting. Let's have a tasting. All right. Remember, like, stomach a manly mouth, you know? <coughs> oh, God. Oh, mm. God. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'm getting um, hints of hints of ash. Yeah. Is Wait, anyone um chemical? I'm getting the taste very sulfuric. Mine was simulating a flat screen TV. I'm weirdly getting aloe vera yeah. vibes. Does uh, anyone have an inhaler of any kind? Mm. No, I, I No, but I have a manifest good. snacks. Let's okay. Do you think people just carry around now, inhalers? Is this <laughs> <laughs> yes, people do. People with asthma do. Yeah, I'm just who you a very fucking small, I a very even, small sample group here. Listen, I never <laughs> asked any of you if people you had care. asthma. Okay, it's I don't think it's that off the wall. I don't think so either. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Thank you. Okay, so are, did you bring for us a manifest snack that we could physically eat or a manifest snack that we have to think about? I brought you the oranges. Oh. Wow. Wow, okay. So, okay, now so you two got the oranges and I just got a sticker that says empty and it says you can write for more oranges. <laughs> oh, so look at that. You ran out of oranges for the soccer team. Okay. But Timmy over here can manifest more. And again, it's mm. not an orange. It's or a cracker made of oranges. <laughs> this is the rubberiest yeah. trip I've ever had in my yeah. fucking life. I would say, I don't know if this is a cracker. I'd say um, this is kind of, yeah, this feels like a like a dried fruit. This feels like the type of thing that you find in the sauce in a Chinese food that you don't eat. Now, <laughs> I want you to manifest what you want next. Yeah, I know that. I totally understand what you're saying. <laughs> manifest what you want next. Mm, okay. okay. I want... I want to start a gin line. <gasps> so I'm sorry, you can manifest for anything. I thought you could only oh, yeah. manifest what, for Was snack. I only supposed to manifest for a snack So later? that's the wall we're hitting because we can't <laughs> get people to manifest our products. They're manifesting other things. That's tough. And I, it's impressive that you're tracking it, that mm. you're able to track yes. that. Yes, because um, we are getting manifestation tweets and stuff and none of it is more orange mm. crackers. So can I ask really quickly before we wrap up, um, what's the next thing you want your business to grow to? Well, cats out of the bag. Um, gin. Yeah, gin. I want to go into Crestfallen Gin. Um, wow. We're working with some people. Where? In, well, uh, these people are in Vermont, and they're very connected, and they're very excited about having gin. A lot of juniper trees up in Vermont, so they want to do gin. I'm also working uh, with uh, uh, somebody else on a new invention, it is own invention. Yeah, <laughs> it's a new product. It's going to be crestfallen uh, head guards for anybody who's trying to put a sweater over your head without you asking. Um, oh, that seems oh, like you're a passion. Like a, you're doubling down on it's this. It's like a cone with spikes on it. Oh, this is so a passion no project. No one, no one can sneak a turtleneck on your head. Oh, this is like this is like when the victims of families who have lost their loved ones make a foundation. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm here to help. <laughs> Yeah. And and I'm 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 really excited. I'm going to be opening a, a, a rest stop in Barstow. Um, it's just going to be a kind of gross, nasty rest stop where it's rustic and and really intense, and you can park your motorcycle there. Whoa. Oh, incredible! That's yeah. I uh, sounds great, man. Yeah, so check it out, Emily. 
So I would like to be venturing into, um, fingers crossed, the nuclear bomb space. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. <laughs> Huge fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed all over fingers America. Fingers crossed. Um, it's just something that's really near and dear to my heart. And so I'm excited to uh, start exploring that and see how I can bring Gen Z into the uh, nuclear bomb space. Fantastic. I think you're going to do great in there. I think you're going to kill it. It feels like you're really going to be an outlier in the nuclear bomb space. You're probably going to knock right through it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because no one's thinking about branding and no one's thinking about mm, social media and the new generation and all this stuff. Like everyone has these preconceived notions of what a nuclear bomb is, but I want to disrupt the industry. Sure. Uh, uh, very apparent you do. Uh, well, we we are actually moving into a really funny, exciting place with our crypto. Um, we are actually making a different coin. It's called Fartcoin. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And when you buy it, you can send it to somebody on the uh, chain link using chain link, and they will receive a fart. Basically, what it does is we it it connect. What I've been told is it connects to some sort of fart network of people that are itching to fart and they and will can i ask you a follow-up question yeah um when is your court date oh it's coming up it's you heard about that yes so <laughs> basically what happened was the it, it turned out that half of the cryptos are a huge scam okay. and we've lost a lot of money okay oh, but God. it's coming up it's coming up very soon thank drag. you for reminding me <laughs> <laughs> um for me i'm gonna be um uh Venturing out of Fisher Price and um, working with Verizon Wireless on a line of lemon loaf cakes. How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> this has been artist on artist on artist on artist. Answer the question. Now that's why we call it show business. Good night, Hollywood. Artists on artists on artists on artists is an improvised Hollywood roundtable podcast created, performed, and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhane, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. AOA OAOA is a Sugar 23 podcast. Mike Mayer and Michael Sugar executive producers, Liam Billingham producer. Production support by Angela Rostano and Anthony DiFrancesco. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOA OAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. That's all for now. Good night, Hollywood.